Welcome back to another video in the 5S video series. These are simple shareable solutions to help save you time and get you better sounding music in five minutes or less. Helping us out today is Anita Potter with a great workflow hack in Reaper. Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions and I'm gonna show you how to make your own keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. First off, I wanna thank Robert for allowing me to share this quick tip on his channel. So let's get into it. Now, we all have things that we want to do to speed up our workflows. I do a lot of volume automation, so it's imperative to have like something like quick where I can add four points as quick as I can to, to get through it and then fin finalize it through another pass. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. First, I'm going to add right here on this track. I'm going to click on the trim button and I'm going to select volume. I'm going to close it and you have the volume automation lane right there. But man, I really don't want to have to sit here and left click and then sneak up and left click on something else and then add more points as it takes too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I'm going to left click and drag a time selection. And I'm going to turn my snapping back on. So I could just personal preference. And I'm going to go to my actions panel up here and show action list. Now the action I have set is for um, adding four points with a time selection. So I'm going to search four points, which is under envelope, insert four envelope points at time selection. And I have my custom shortcut right there. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to delete it so I can show you how to create one for it. I'm going to click down here. First, I'm going to make sure this is selected. I'm going to click add. We don't have to worry about any of this other stuff up in here as long as this, keep that highlighted. On my keyboard, I'm going to press the keys control, alt, and the number four on the keyboard number pad, and then select OK. And then I'm going to close this. I don't want to run it right now. So you've got your time selection selected. The next thing you need to do is click on the volume envelope to highlight it. And then I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, control, alt, number pad four, which has now has inserted four points, even though you can see two. But if I hover my mouse over the middle of this lane, I can drag it up and there your second points are. You can continue to add points by holding shift and left click and just go crazy if you want. <laughs> and that's how that's basically done. Now we'll go back to our actions list. Let's say you wanted to do something that um, you came up with a shortcut for, for something in your workflow and you go and type it in and it's already taken. So, um, right at the moment. I'm going to add, and then I'm going to hit control alt four, click okay. And it says this key is already mapped to the action envelope, insert four points at envelope time selection. And it'll ask you if you want to override the mapping. I'm going to click no, but if it's a setting in there that you don't really particularly use, you can either clear the key action for the one that, um, your you don't use and add it to the one that you need or you could just override it. it either way it works just fine and that is how you set up custom hotkeys for actions in reaper